something that I have been wanting since pretty much I was introduced to the stalker world was enjoying it together with friends. And now I can do that thanks to StarCraft, a free online survival game that's a mix between Stalker and Minecraft. I feel like this is a game that a lot of people will love and a lot of people will hate. But hey, at the end of the day, it's free. So let's jump into it. Hold up! Before we move on, I would like to introduce you to our... <coughs> SPONSOR! Skillshare. Skillshare is this online learning community with thousands of online classes that covers a great amount of topics. Just like this class I'm taking right now from Jan Jilkek, a complete guide on how to make a full action horror game in Unity. This is all free for one month with my amazing link that you can find in the description. And you should use it to check classes like this out. So if you're anything like me and you don't want to be dumb, <laughs> Skillshare is a perfect place to start. They got everything from survival classes on to how to make your own YouTube channel. What are you waiting for? Support those who support this channel. And remember, this is a unique offer that only applies to the first thousand who use it. Explore your creativity free from ads and new premium classes every week. Roger. Roger. Are you alive? That's great. Come on, get up now. Here we go. <sighs> the emission will be starting soon. We need to get out of here quick, if we want to survive. Fortunately, I have an escape plan. But you have to grab the artifact. Otherwise, the it will be a waste artifact. of time. We can do that. This is so weird, dude. It looks eerily like, like the surroundings. Not my hands. Not my blocky hands. Obviously, I don't have any fingers. All right, let's keep on going. This is so, so weird. So it seems like we are actually in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant at this moment in time. Look at this. So, I don't know. Am I allowed to call this a multiplayer stalker? I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, this is the stalker universe. And it's mixed together with Minecraft, I guess? But from what I've seen... You're not much good to us when injured. Can you see a first aid kit anywhere? If so, yeah, yeah, right here. use it. Thank you, Prince. So, from what I've seen... This game actually looks solid, to be honest, from what I've seen from the trailers. And uh, I thought we would jump in and check it out together. And I'm pretty god darn excited, to be honest, because this means I might be able to play a stalker game together with me, friends. So heal up right there. Thank you very much. Let's continue here. We can sprint as well. Just going further down, are we? All right, here we go. Do we have a gun? No, okay, we don't. Right. Back to walk. Check if there's anyone on the roof. Roger that, Prince. So our name is Roger, is it? Yeah. We got one, two, three right there. I don't really know if we can see the faction of this. Enemy. Damn, fanatics. Kill them. Should be a senior spy from your position. Fanatics? What? So yeah, you guys know that I'm still pretty new to the whole Stalker universe, so I might not know everything. I'm pretty... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a rookie, I would say, but... Uh, let's see if we can take these guys down. I mean, their heads are humongous, so we should be able to, right? Take that guy down first. The Outlook, and these guys are facing... Oh. Let's wait for them to face different directions. Oh, come on, dude! Great walk. Oof. Now move to the northern part of the station. Also, find yourself a new weapon. The corpse of one of our men should be on this floor. What I is that? Just searching it. Yeah, I was really lucky right there. I didn't check my uh, my ammo. Ooh, can I light this on fire? No. 
this is eerily similar, dude. The weapons, as long as you don't look at the hands. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, how's it going? Oh, wow. All right. Drag all of this over. Can I just take all? Thank you very much. Go to inventory. Oh, modify exoskeleton. <gasps> Did I just spoil myself for my stalker series? Which you guys should check out, by the way. If you come in here and haven't checked out my stalker series, you should check that out. Uh, let's pull this down right here. We're going to save it. But also, obviously, we're going to get the gun, get the knife. That's all we need, right? see what we have oh dude seriously the animations are solid the way i'm holding the gun i like it this this is this is all so weird and remember this game is free to play it's all free over on steam i will link everything that you need to know down below the name of the game and also the link to steam All right, so it seems like we yep, night vision. If you're stuck in a hole somewhere, use your NVG. Let's see this way. I don't think we need to loot anything right now. I think we just need to get out. Z to go prone. We can do that. And I don't know how true they are to the world of Stalker and stuff like that. That's something that I really want to check out. And I don't know how we're going to do this. If we need to do different factions and stuff like that. Alright, let's see if we can get through here. Into an elite chap. Oh god, I thought I was falling down. Up this way. There we go. In here. Jesus, are we actually dropping down? I mean, we should be fine, right? We have the... Uh, the exosuit and everything. Uh, oh, here we go. That's what I thought. We might need this. Wait, can I just snipe these guys, maybe? Let's see. Wait, what did... Oh, that's... Oh, what do you call them? You call them... They are zombified, right? Whoop. All right. They mad? They mad? <laughs> all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. What are we doing? Oh, that's cool. Uh, the It seems like... Oh, we can loot them. All right, let's do that. Let's just put this on then. It's got a bunch of stats, though. Clip capacity, maximum distance, rate of fire, reloads, and tactic, tactical reload. Spread hip fire, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, draw time. So it creates bleeding and got some stopping power as well. Dude, that's sick. That's really in-depth. And an MP5. All right, I don't think the looting is going to do anything, but it's nice to see all of these weapons. Don't hesitate to search the corpses. There's always something useful on them. <gasps> Shotgun. Yoink. Ooh. Let's check this one out as well. The weapons animations are actually sick. I like that. So if you can actually overlook the cuteness of the things, like the, uh, the blocky look of them, I actually might think you have a little bit of a solid game going here. Hold Q to grab on. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. Let's just get down here. Jesus. It looks like we have a bunch of them around here. Quick. The emission is starting soon. The emission, that's the storm. There's a storm coming in. I think you said that before, right? Where did it go? Yeah, 
now. Wait, what? Stop it! Oh, anomalies? Look at all these suits, dude. They actually look badass. Not gonna lie. A little bit chunky. I'm fine with that. out of here. Whoop. Let's get the MP5 here. Where are you, damn it? The mission is starting. Dude. Время шло, постепенно все белые пятна были изучены. Казалось, что на планете не осталось земель, неизведанных человеком. Но вместо белых пятен появилось одно черное пятно. Таинственное, дикое, не поддающееся объяснению ученых – зона. Изначально зоной называли периметр, радиус которого составлял 30 километров вокруг Чернобыльской АЭС. Именно эту территорию задел так называемый «первый выброс» – огромный всплеск неизвестной энергии, который изменил саму реальность. Первыми людьми, ступившими на земли зоны, стали отнюдь не ученые или военные. Первыми были обычные бродяги, искатели приключений. Они с уважением относились к зоне, не используя в ней оружие и аккуратно исследуя каждый ее закуток. Когда первопроходцы вернулись, они принесли с собой первые артефакты. Это аномальные образования со сверхъестественными свойствами. При помощи артефактов можно было лечить любые болезни создавать мощнейшие источники энергии и нарушать физические законы. После этого интерес к зоне невероятно возрос. В нее хлынули люди всех сортов и моральных качеств. Одни именовали себя сталкерами, пытались жить по заветам первопроходцев. Другие назвались бандитами и восприняли зону как место вседозволенности. За артефакты разгорелась настоящая война. Это стало причиной того, что зона изменилась навсегда. Именно тогда там появились аномалии интанты. И именно тогда зона начала давать людям отпор. Со временем интанты и аномалии становились опаснее. Свойства артефактов начали слабеть, конкуренции стало больше... Поток людей, пытающихся прорваться сквозь охранные периметры в зону, ослаб. Однако совсем недавно случайным людям, не имеющим отношения к зоне, начал сниться один сон. Во сне менялись некоторые обстоятельства, но неизменным оставался большой яркий голубой шар, который видел каждый из них. 
После этого сна все люди, которым он снился, устремились в зону. Это явление получило название «Зов», а всех, кто следует этому зову, прозвали «блаженными». Oh, good morning, sunshine. So you're back in the land of the living. Why are you staring at me? Do you remember anything? Or are you about to ask me what year it is? My head is killing me. I was in a boat. Then it all goes cloudy. I bet your boat managed to hit some kind of underwater anomaly. Wait, they are underwater as well? We barely pulled you out alive. The local doctor rescued you. But I guess he had a lot of work to do. So he asked me to check in on you. Now you're finally awake, little mermaid. That's gonna be my nickname, is it? I'm not the right person to explain all of this. You need to find Shaman. He's the local authority on these things. He know better than anyone about what's going on with the blessed. That's right. You aren't the only one like that here. More and more people are coming telling the same story, dreams, voices, hallucinations. We're trying to figure it all out. One more thing, you might not want to go blabbing around to everyone that's your blessed. People come in all types. They say they are already some rough folks around here who view the blessed like a threat. If they hear about you, it might bring trouble down on your head. You don't want that, right? Thank you for the tip, my dude. What's your name? Oi. Oh? Do we actually do have a night vision right off the bat? We got a pee pee? Oh, <laughs> look at that, Linden. <laughs> so, that guy Fisk. Stalker about myself. Oh, I can edit? Hello. Nice. <laughs> Safe. There you go. I think that's good about us ourselves. And then we have the KD ratio. We have achievements. So, yeah, all of this is going to be online, right? There we go. We have the map. We have... <gasps> We're in the swamps right now. This is the clear, clear sky base, ain't it? We have flesh hideouts, dog den. And the church should be here then. You got cordon. Wait, Chernobyl reactor 4 is underneath us now? That's garbage then. Agroprom. The dark valley. We don't have meadow here, do we? Okay, so we do have the places right here. Jesus Christ. Underground? This is humongous, dude. And now when we have that task, we can actually see it right down here as well. That's really cool. I don't care what anyone say. If they are like, oh my first look at it, it's Minecraft Stoker. I hate it. Dude, it's a free game. That's insane. Did you see how big it was? That's just crazy to me. Here we go. Paid actor. I <laughs> know. Uh, don't look. I promise, I promise, this is not scripted in any way or form. I, di I didn't, I didn't pay anyone. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, dude. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can get around. Oh, we, okay, we got third person as well. I actually tried to save right there, but... Kind of want to go to Rookie Village to see how that, how that looks. So you should be able to speak to people with your microphone. I uh, I tried to activate that. So we're going to see how that works out. Oh. What's going on? So obviously we don't want to kill other stalkers. But if they're bandits. Is there any way I know? Okay, that's stalkers. Don't worry, dude. I'm coming. You need some help. Oh, that's flesh, isn't it? Don't worry, dude. I got you. I got you. How's it going, dude? Is it going well? <laughs> I'm enjoying this. You're <laughs> right, but that's fucking wonky. <laughs> They're going. The way he looked at me just cracked me up. <laughs> oh? Yeah, we know these anomalies. We know what's going on, right? We can walk through here. I don't know if I've seen this place. This might actually be the old man we talked into at the beginning, right? Oh. 
Let's turn on the night vision. I don't know if we want to be here. It's nearly quiet. I'm going to tell you that much. I think we can get a little bit clo uh, closer to it before we, uh, we throw it, to be honest. All right. Nothing to loot right here. I can, I can imagine just sitting down here, watch uh, me, myself, and Irene, you know? Having a good little little stew together with some vodka. I'll do that. Large backpack. Mm, examine note. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, I got the artifact that he wanted me to get right, but... Uh, notifications. Oh, auction. You can find stuff and you can auction them away? Yoink. Come back to base quickly. Yeah. Look at me learning. Look at that. Yeah, we're in the great swamps. How about that? It doesn't look like <laughs> like the stalker that I'm used to, but uh, yeah, you can definitely feel the stalker vibes. Hey, dude, how's it going? Can you hear me? Not. Oh, oh, oh. Tits McGee. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Wait, Tits McGee. Hey, come here. Can you hear me? All right, let's talk to him. Go on, show off your find. Ooh, nice one. To find out everything, you need to know about artifacts. Take it, uh, take it to the local si uh, scientist. Yeah, we can do that. Here we go. Ooh. Maybe I should actually listen to that guy. It seems like we can actually level our bases up right here. And with that... We probably can get some new stuff. Merchants of supplies, mechanic, fence, merchants of gear. And then you have the researcher right here. I think we are right there. So we need to cross all of this and get into the researcher right now. So let's do that. It's really nice to see that. <laughs> Dude, it's something. I'm not going to be able to do this. It's something about the hey, way. Stalker. Hey, how's it going, dude? It's going well. <laughs> and he nods. Wait, wait, let's see. I'm empty. Need ammo. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, no. Is this the place? Here you go. Oh, yeah, he got the suit on and everything. The stranger lift his gaze. Okay, so we need to do this. The stranger lift his gaze to the ceiling and mutter something under his breath. Interesting. Hello, am I interrupting? They... Yes! These live in waves, like people. They wonder. What do you want, young lad? I'm new. I'm going around to the base introducing myself to everyone. I'm just being friendly, you know. Well, I'm Dodger. If anyone asks you who can contemplate such grandiose and enormous thoughts while being so far at the southern border of the zone, tell them. Dodger can. Oh, we got a bragger right here. Don't just stand there. Come in. Have a seat. We can chat if you like. I'll assess an artifact for you at the same time. What do you say? Lynn sent me. I found an artifact in doubt and... Great! That's wonderful news. A zone scientist like nothing better than a chance to work with artifacts. You identified the artifact? I doubt you managed to dig up anything valuable, so I suggest you find a fence to sell it. Welcome to Shell. I don't know why I'm giving them voices. I'm sorry. I'm Koshak. I buy stuff uh, that you find on your travels. Okay, that sounds good, man. Let's just sell. Sell stuff. Sell. Broken claw, right? I can do that. Green mold. Sell it. Yes. Now that you earned your first profit, head to the local weapon merchant. Hey, owes me some money. Actually, tell him I sent you to get uh, to give you something special. Hello. I'm just trying to make friends here, dude. It's hard. It's hard in the zone. No one wants to listen to me. Hits McGee is at it again. Hi. Who are you? A customer? Maybe it depends on what service you offer. Call me Pietka, or put. Can you just Mr. P? All right. The service I offer is most popular. Okay, he sells guns.
nine mil. So we should buy some... Ah, oh, we have a bunch of ammo. I think we got that with him. And we got a nade. Can I throw that? Oh. So... Oh, my durability is zero. So we need to get the, the gun fixed, eh? Let's do that. Hello, Flint. How's it going? Hiya. I gave you the ring. Now fix my gun. Repair it. Sweet, dude. You're such a winner in my book, Flint. <laughs> dude, it's something about these characters that just cracks me up. They look so goddamn silly. <laughs> I would lie if it didn't pull me out of the immersion a little bit, right? Install the flash suppressor on the Kashtan. Right-click modification. Oh, shit, dude. This is like Tarkov kind of stuff. You can paint it. You can remove the ammo. Hide. Barrel. This is actually like Tarkov, ain't it? Dude, that's fucking hilarious. I love that. If you're done with the weapon, merchant can be... Okay, yeah, yeah. Come back here. I'm coming. Oh, calm down. Oods. No. Well, I can see that you settled in nicely. Congrats. Consider your newbie fighter lesson complete. Thank you. I give you some more valuable advice. If you need some special items, you can try the auctioneer. Not in the swamps, no. You have to go to Cordon. I don't wanna! Uh, rise and shine. Alright, we need to go down and get some sleep then. Let's put this away. <sighs> Always be ready for a stab though. Well, well, you must be drowning, victim that barely... Yes! I do want to ask you for one personal favor of urgent importance. Shall we say? My old friend Kal Kalgan recently returned from the north of the zone. He didn't come back alone. He brought a friend, Art. This guy, Art, has been acting very strangely since he got here. All right. All right, so basically he went into the swamps. We're going to go and find him. So let's do that. There we go. Night vision on. We're crossing the bridge. We're ready. I think we are in PvP territory right now. And I'm pretty sure, as always, when you get out, get out here, even though if you're a stalker, you're going to have other stalkers killing you with people that don't really understand what's going on or they just want to try to kill some people. Who are you? A stalker as well. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> That's some stiff legs right there. All right, let's see. We should have our friend right here, right? Hey. Whoa. Whoa! There you go. Do I have any, any loot at all? Dude! I can expect inspect my weapon as well? What do you have? Give it. Bitch. Oh no. Corgan. There's at least there's at least two dozen bullets lodged in the stalker's chest. Someone was pretty generous with the lead here. Judging from the entries in the Dead Mass PDA, this must be Kalgan. Someone clearly took him out. Maybe it was his crazy friend Art. Do you really think so? Do you think it was that guy that we just uh, killed? The only other guy that was in here? Maybe I'm too fast to judge here. I don't know. Let's see if we have any loot. I think we need to go back and break the news for this lad back here. He's not... Yeah, he's not back. Did you? Yeah, I went back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. I knew that asshole was nothing but trouble. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry to bring you some bitter news, my dude. Don't get me wrong, Stalker. I admire your enthusiasm, but you still haven't done much. Plus, a new problem show up in our doorstep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, let me, uh, let me deal with it, dude. Let me deal with it. Ooh, did I just get myself a shotgun, dude? Let's see, let's try this bad boy. Right here? Oh, boy. Oh, it's you again. Stop it. Don't get so close, you weirdo. Stop it. Shame on you. You stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, man. It just kind of happened. <laughs> That's just anarchy. <laughs> That's just anarchy. <laughs> All right. 
What's up, Cox? Oh, someone got a sharp tongue. You aren't doing jack shit here. Just loafing around. Obviously, a stalker. All right, I see what it's saying. I cut the noses of idiots who stick them in the wrong places. All right, so you haven't seen him. You haven't talked to him. I see, I see. Aspen, get the fuck out, dude. Stalkers, don't do that. <laughs> Leave me alone, dude. <laughs> Stop it, dude. You're creeping me out. You're gonna... <laughs> it's gonna shank me. <laughs> okay, Asaf, come. All right, you know what we're gonna do? Here we go, dude. Come, follow me. Hey, guys, help me. Did you just teabag that guy? If we go out here. Need help. Don't leave me now. I knew it. Don't get mad, bro. I didn't mean anything. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> okay. Azep, I know you true colors right now, dude. <laughs> leave me be. You just wanted to kill me, didn't you? All this time. Oh, I'm shook as dude. That's dirty. It did me dirty. It's not like I would do the same to him, right? I can't believe you I'm tried to fighting. kill me, dude. Let's talk. So guys, look at that. You can see him right here just looking at me. <laughs> dude. So Gumshoe, did you find anything out? Uh who's that? Uh what are we gonna do now without a warrant? All right, so Cox has the hut nearby. You probably noticed it. So I'm going to ask him to come and see me. All right, so we need to go to Cox's house. God damn it, ass. And we're going to search it. Shouldn't have done that. All right, dude, we need to go in here. We need to steal some shit, all right? Are you with me, dude? What? Are you trying to stab me? No, dude, don't be sad. Go in. Don't, don't aim. Yes. Come on, man. We need to go in. You and I. Don't be sad. All right. We need, we just need to search this place. Don't steal anything, though. I see a giant crate. It won't be easy to open. There's a lock on it. You notice some dry drops of blood on top of the crate. Interesting. That's real anarchy. Stalkers, don't do that. You see a bulky cupboard. Something scratched on the door. A swear word, you think? The doors of the cupboard is creaky open. Inside, a few shelves. Some of them are covered with old yellowing magazines. While others hold several tin cans. All right, I surrender. The cans prove to hey, be bro. quite heavy. Yes! Give me some ammo. You grab a few random mags. You flip through them. A small key falls out. Yoink! Dude! Asim, you know what that means? Alright, so we're in the middle of a mission. And this just turned really, really weird. He's healing, isn't he? First blood. Ugh. Here we go. Shit. Here we go. Victorious, dude! I'm a more experienced stalker than you will ever be. Just back in here now? I got the key. Open it. Oh, no Van Gogh received. We got the ear. Inside you find several rags and a small bundle. You want to unwrap it and find a severed ear. That is the proof that we need it, dudes. Come on, Cox. We can talk about this. What the hell are you doing here, slacker? Oh, you're not going to do anything about that? Here you go. One torn off here. So it was him, that damn scum. I don't know if we can apprehend him. I think he is actually going to start fighting back, right? He doesn't know, does he? 
Did? Why is everyone in such a hurry? I walked and asked uh, Cox to uh, play a round of cards, but he pushed me aside, legged it like a tail was on fire. Ooh. Ran off? Where? Over that way. The hot pursuit, boys! Oh, wait, let's check the map first. We need to go the other way. Are they fighting each other, you think? No, okay, they're helping each other. I, yeah, it's a dog den. We're not gonna do that. Cox! All right, so what is this? This is not him either, is it? Unknown. You see a stalker standing there as though he was waiting for you. Man, did you see anyone run by? Oh, oh you must be looking for Cox. The unknown stalker smirks. Oh, come on, I prefer to hang around people. Blah, 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 blah. All right, it's time to kill this mother herker. Is he here? Oh, wait, what? You find Cox's body. His throat has been slit. Doesn't look like mutants did this. Yeah, he got what he deserved, dude. Just saying. Do this, and then I want to go out in the Great Swamps to check on some stuff. I might actually go over to Corden as well to check out the Rookie Village. Just to uh, to see what, what it looks like, basically. I think that's a pretty pretty good thing. And then we got the tutorial. We got to see how the missions and stuff work. How the safe base or whatever. How that works. Oh, yeah. And then we had a um, a duel with another player. That was pretty damn cool. What took you so long? Where is he? Yeah, he's died. Damn it. We, so, we screwed up. All right, dude. Give me yeah, all we your stuff. We got okay. some parts and we got a new Maybe shotgun as well. A little bit of uh, money. You know what? Let's check that shotgun out. We might want to sell that one. Jeez, that's big. Oh, I see. Okay, all right. So we can put that right there. Can we put this one there? No. So we might want to put the pistol down for a side arm. That shoots a little bit faster, right? You, you know what? Let's go and uh, check with the, the shaman. Because this is going to lead us into Cordon. And this is the rookie village anyhow. So we're going that way. So I would say let's just... Uh... Ooh, look at that. Those little animations. That's sweet. But yeah, let's check what this guy got. And then we're going to go over to Cordon. And check out the rookie village. Got a bridge right here. I think this is where we're going to be crossing. And also we need to keep an eye out. Because if we do run into people... They might actually want to kill us now. Okay, that's a stalker. I don't know if uh, other faction can kill each other, but I would assume you can. At least out in the zone. Never trust anyone. Oh my fuck! Dude, I didn't see that at all. Oh, that's cheeky as hell, ain't it? Damn, that's impressive. I like it. And also, I am assuming that if I do die out here to, uh, let's say, a stalker or a bandit or to a mutant, I don't lose my gun and stuff. I think I am able to lose whatever I have in my backpack, but not on my body or the things that I do have equipped. Um, so that might be something good to keep in mind. I think that's another stalker because it's green, right? Here we go. Yeah, he set someone off. It's okay. Okay. I'm here to help you. Got one. Where did my friend go? Oh, did he die? Did you leave me here with them? Oh, there he is. Dude, this boomstick is magical, dude. Dude, look at the gun. Wait, did you get that now? Oh, that's the one-shot shotgun, right? I don't really know. Ooh, that's a helicopter. I don't really know what you call that one, but... Seems like we have a stash right here. Take all. Yoink. Another bandit camp right here. I don't know if we want to go there, dude. These guys can... You know what? Let's see if I can do this. I don't want to set them off when he's out there. I'm sorry, dude. 
<laughs> He's just being really nice tagging them. Like a goddamn hero. All right, dude, you got this, right? Let's do this together, you and I. That's what I thought, where the f Did you guys just spawn in? Jesus. We got it though, dude. Oh, so it's shared loot. That's perfect. All right. So I'm not stealing any anything from him. Actually makes me a little bit happy. This is what I would love to see in Stalker. I know there is something special with a single player experience, but imagine just walking in a world like this, just feeling so lonely and it's so empty and you actually run up on a friend that you can... Uh, help out or they can help you out to go down into the underground or whatever and uh, just do a quest together dude i'm just getting chills thinking about that it, it that would be so goddamn cool just think about that guy i'm never gonna meet him again all right this is the path we want to go dude these flesh dudes are really aggressive right now they usually tend to run the other way when i'm coming about all right calm down Calm down. I'm really happy that we found this shotgun. This should be the path that we're where we want to go. And we can actually change what kind of ammunition we're using. Let's see. Let's check the map. And we should just have to go straight here. And we should end up in Cordon. <laughs> fuck is that? That is so cheeky, dude. All right, this is where we died, and this is way further away than I thought we would be. So I'm just assuming that that guy is actually gone. So let's just get up here and see if we can actually get ourselves to Corden. I don't think we are allowed to go here yet. It seems like this place is filled with mines. I'm just assuming that's what that means. So trespassers will be shot or something. Look at this. Oh, we don't have any stalkers right here right now. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's obviously Rookie Village. You can see that, but... What did I walk into? Whoa. All right. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It seems like that leads down to somewhere we don't want to be at the moment. And this is where we talk to Fnatic the first time. And right here. Jesus. You guys know where this leads, right? I wonder if it's actually here. No, it's all abandoned. It would be sweet to see if... Uh, let's sit here. If uh, places like this would in a way award players that had been playing Stalker before. So I know there was a merchant here and maybe I could find some really good loot. I mean, I'm finding some things here at least. You know? Oh, it goes down deeper. All right, I've been uh, on this way longer than I thought it would be. I, th I mean, I don't know if I'm going to see myself back in this, but I got to say, they got something going here. It's a free game, and if you like Stalker, if you like Minecraft, if you, if you would like to give this uh, a try, it might be something for you that you want to put some time into. I mean, it's, it's as I said, it's free. Try it out at least, because I know I'm happy that I did. So, guys, if you enjoyed this yourself, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as we're trying to reach 60,000 before the end of the year. That's all. The only thing I have to say now is my name is Fisk. Thank you for watching.